Hi, it's Tita Koala, and yes, that is me. So, a few videos back, I made this hakama for my ball joint to dal akana, and I thought, why not make one for myself? Not the entire outfit, but something more like this. And no, this channel isn't transitioning to a me-made series. Now with that sloppy modeling out of the way, let's begin. I am using the same fabric I used for my jacket in making this version for Akahana. If you're making one for yourself or for your doll, I recommend using linen or something more airy and silky. I just didn't have one on hand but linen or something similar would definitely work better as a beach cover-up. Here I am doing some understitching as we'd want the white fabric to stay out of sight when viewed up front. You'll see later why the white panel is whiter than the blue one.
Now I'm just pushing out the corners and setting this aside for later. which will essentially make up the bodice. I am searching everything now so I can open the seams later. Of course, this is an optional step. You can skip ahead if you want. on how you can finish your serge thread tails. methods as this one isn't always applicable to what you're doing. But here at the end point after the needles go past the edge, I flip my fabric and as I'm running stitches over it, I am pulling the fabric away from the line. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments below how you deal with your thread tails while surging. I realize I didn't show you the fabric in detail as I usually do at the start of my videos. So here it is. The texture and design is incredible, while the underside is just all white. The face is made up of strips of blue and white with irregular specks of thick blue threads upon closer look. I really love this fabric, which is why I had to sew something for myself this time around.
and we're finally ready to start. Of course, we begin with the shoulders. With all straight lines, nothing crazy, we start by stitching together the left and right front panels onto the back panel. And now with the round face up, create a straight line by moving the thinner panels to the side. And remember to always mark the center points. Taking the collar which I prepared earlier, I am pinning that onto the bodice.
why the white panel is wider because I am stitching from the front or the printed side I am sure to catch the white underside to the sleeves. I should have prepared this beforehand but the armholes need hemming before we can attach them to the bodice. So I go ahead and do that off cam. Remember to stop your stitch here so you can fold this part inwards later on. Fold this and the front hem and stitch them up. Now as 
also a good time to do the back hem. of the armhole towards the underarms and then down to the sides but only up until the mark point for the slit.
in your seams and stitch from the hem up to the slit and then down again. With a bit of heat press, this will look much better. again. I know this would have looked more stylish if I had a sleeveless white top on. version. That's all I have for today. If you found joy in this video, please translate that onto the like button. But if you loved it, consider subscribing for more sewing and doll dressmaking content. This has been Tita Koala. Thanks for dropping by. I'm right around the corner. Bye for now.